My name is Christina Fumiko Barrows, and I am your new host on the Streets of Art on the San Diego Talk of San Diego Network. And I just wanted to do a little introduction about myself, get to know you guys, and do a little chit chat and see um, what is it that you guys want to see. So let's talk a little bit about myself. I um, have been doing fine art and all different types of art for the past 20 years. Uh, behind me is a few of my paintings and prints and sculptures. I also do jewelry. Here you can see some of my jewelry. I like to work with crystals. Um, and I'm really excited to be here with the Talk of San Diego Network. And I plan on going out and doing interviews with other local artists and going to events and seeing what San Diego has to share in the art realm and then bring it to you so you can enjoy it and, and see all the beauty that our city has to offer. So I do like to do a lot of esoteric and spiritual art. Um, so I do focus on some some a little bit more mystical aspects, but my background is in portraiture. I did start doing a lot of portraits. This is one of Betty Page. Um, then I then I got really into anime. So this is my sort of anime phase. Um, then I got into like space and sort of hipster stuff. So that's that phase. Uh, then I got really into like magic. And so that's that phase over there. So I like to do all different types of art. I also do sculpture, wire wrap. Um, I sew, I've made costumes, and art is just really my passion, so it just seemed like a great fit to be a part of the Streets of Art Network and um, go out and find different fun artists to share with you guys, and I'm really excited to just to see what different varieties of creativity there are in our local neighborhood and really showcase uh, their skills. Because I feel like there's so many artists that just want a voice and want a platform, but they don't believe that they are good enough or worthy. Um, and they just need a little encouragement, like I did. Because I've been an artist for many, many years, and I never really believed in myself until um, until I realized that I, I had something because other people helped encourage me and gave me great feedback, like everyone here on the network. And so I'm super excited to share my journey with you. And I have not gone to school for art. I did go to San Francisco to Art Institute for a little while, but uh, that is a very expensive school. So I did not complete my degree there. So my training is rather informal. I did study as a film major and I wanted to make movies but I had this painting skill and this creativity art skill so that um, was just easier than trying to go to UCLA and, and that was my first goal. But So that's a little bit about me and I look forward to meeting you guys and sharing more of my art with you. I'll go ahead and give you some, some more close-ups so you can see uh, what I do. So here is a print. Um, this actually was done on Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator. I have a Wacom tablet where I draw on the computer and I do uh, some illustration, I do some line art, I also make logos for people and do some sort of web stuff. Um, but a lot of my art started out to be very cartoon and very anime style. So this print is actually from 2008, so it's kind of old. And then this actually uh, morphed into this painting where I went from her to her. And so that's sort of the evolution of my art style from this sort of juvenile uh, anime style in, in 2008 to this sort of ethereal goddess uh you know, intergal oh, <laughs> intergalactic painting in 2012. 
uh, I'd say around 2012 was when I really got into spiritual and metaphysical art. And um, this is actually my very first painting that I've ever painted. Oh, she looks so cute as a fox. This is a painting of Betty Page. Uh, she's one of my most favorite muses. I actually painted this painting in 1998, if you guys can believe that. This painting is 20 years old. It's my oldest piece of art that I own, and that this is uh, in my private collection. I don't think I'll ever sell her, because um, it's, it's a sort of a <laughs> sentimental piece. Um, but she's actually gotten uh, three or four different... Um, sisters. I've made other paintings of Betty Page and they've already been, thank you, they've already been sold. I love painting Betty. She was my muse in high school. So, um, so yeah, so that's my very first painting that I've ever done, you guys. This is a 20-year-old painting. <laughs> so as far as my most current painting, it would be her this lovely painting, uh, I just completed it. This took me approximately four years to paint. I had the idea four years ago, and it, it was it was definitely a labor of love. I, I'd say about a year and a half I didn't work on it, um, where I had to go through some sort of transformation myself. And as I did, the painting itself evolved, because at first the chakras were all rainbow-colored, but as I later learned through my studies, the chakras weren't even rainbows. And so I tried to depict our sort of, um, you know, very metaphysical Eastern aspect meeting the West um, traditional aspect. And so that's my most recent pa painting. Um, I also have some works in progress. This is actually a very large... Uh, painting that I'm working on and it, this is a this is a huge painting that I have been undertaking this is this is actually I would say my masterpiece that I'm trying to to go through one of my muses and inspirational um, mentors David Bowie died about two years ago and I started this painting upon his death so this is supposed to be a David Bowie painting that I shall finish very soon. That's him and all his different uh, avatars that affected me through life. So hopefully we'll see that very soon. Um, so that's a little bit about me. And I also like to do illustration. And I'm working on a book and writing a, a fiction novel with a lot of different characters that I hope to share with you. But really my passion is to connect with other people and other artists and see, you know, what is it that drives them and what is it that inspires them, and then maybe collaborating together and creating something new and affecting each other in a way that um, expands and, and improves our art. Because as we come together as artists, we create um, new ideas for each other instead of just being stuck in our own um, you know way of creating and way of being hi Nadira oh here's my jewelry so I do make crystal jewelry and necklaces and I make bracelets uh, here's a little chakra bracelet that I like to wear this is one of my favorites um, and I like to make jewelry with crystal prescriptions for people's aura for benefit and um, enhancement of their lives so it, that's sort of a f fun thing to do is to to have my art on people and they're wearing it I also do tattoos and that's a very super challenging type of art form because when you tattoo someone they become your living canvas and it's like their life is forever changed because your art is on their body forever and it's it's super empowering and inspiring to be able to mark someone's life forever and be a part of them and share your talent with them so um, I do enjoy doing tattoos I actually don't have any tattoos myself 
and I've been tattooing for over six years, so <laughs> it's kind of funny because people are like, well, you're, you're tattooing and you don't have any tattoos, and I'm like, well, you know, people want the tattoos and I'll just tattoo them. <laughs> hey, Nadira. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit about me and my passion. And so I would love to hear from you guys, like, what type of art are you interested in? I'm, I'm planning on taking some trips to check out local artists that do sculpture and that they do painting and live performance art. I'm really curious about all types of art. And San Diego is just a wonderful place to see all these different artists and all these different um, modalities of expressing yourself, even dance as a form of art. So I want to run the gamut and see all different artists and um, performers as well. And I'd love to hear some feedback from you guys about what is it that you'd be curious about, you know, seeing or learning about. I've already been thinking about going to the San Diego Museum of Art. Obviously, that's our biggest art uh, warehouse to, to showcase. A lot of cities don't really have such a wonderful place to go and visit to see uh, truly inspiring and fine art that that is just readily available. You can just go to this museum and see like hundreds of years worth of fine art. And so I really want to go there and share that with you guys. So please leave some comments. Let me know what would you enjoy watching and what are you curious about. Would you like to see stuff from farmers markets like farmers markets artists or uh, perhaps going to galleries or maybe you have some friends that are artists and you'd like them to, to be on the show and they might have a store or a gallery or a show opening. So just message me and we'll connect and we'll get you some... Uh, views and we'll get some some attention on your work because that's what we're here for is to, to help support each other help connect and share our art and you know just really be here for one another as artists and as performers and as San Diegans supporting each other's endeavors um, so yes and I hope to maybe do some giveaways uh, as we progress and as you guys get to know me, I'll um, I'll start offering things like maybe maybe like a free print or something um, for the, for people who want to participate in raffles um, and things like that. Oh, <laughs> yes, this is Betty Page. This is actually my first painting ever. This was painted in 1998. I love Betty Page. She was my most uh, inspirational muse when I was uh, 16 years old, 17 years old, and in the 90s, Betty was a really big phenomenon. All these girls started cutting their hair and having the Betty cut, and I just, I just loved her energy, and I loved all her pictures, and I, I was, you know, captivated by this model from the 50s that became a sensation in the 90s, and so this is, yes, this is Betty Page, my very first painting that I've ever done. <laughs> this is not for sale, but I do have prints of this for sale. Um, and I've actually done three three other Betty Page paintings, all of those sold. I did one of Betty as an angel and one of Betty at, at a bar. And yeah, I just love Betty. She's just, her energy and, and her character from a time when people were really suppressed. Um, if anyone knows who Betty Page is, she actually did pinup modeling during a time of sexual oppression, and she, I would say, would be one of those alternative underground um, spearheads for feminine uh, awakening and empowering, because a lot of her photos had to do with her being dominant and with other women and um, doing things that she didn't care if she was judged or not, so I think that's why I really love Betty. She's definitely one of my muses and inspiration goddesses. I hope to maybe do some more in the future of her, um, because I, I have, like, 
on my computer a whole plethora of images that I just love of Betty. So maybe I'll do some more of her. But unfortunately, this guy, my David Bowie painting, is like top priority for me to finish. Uh, um, only because it's so epic and I just am so inspired by David Bowie that I really want to pay homage to him. And in this painting I actually have two two parts where the, the upper part is David and his different personas and the lower part is going to be him as a constellation of the stars. So that's uh, <laughs> quite the endeavor, but I I'm super excited to finish it. Like I said, this painting took me a couple of years, so um, I'm not too worried. <laughs> I know that when it's finished, it'll be the right time. Whereas this painting, it only took me three days. Um, this painting just spewed right out of me, and <laughs> I couldn't help but just paint and paint for three days straight. Um, and this is all the gods having a barbecue. Uh, I'm not a super religious person. I don't really um, hold to any religious sect, but I'm a very spiritual person, and I'm very connected to God and my angels, and um, I I love the Bible. I know that sounds weird, but <laughs> I like the Bible for its uh, for its messages and not so much its 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 uh, history per se. So I'm a very open spiritual person. I like all religions, and that's kind of what this painting is per, per, uh, portraying is. Um, all the religions are just trying to get us to God. So that's another thing, uh, theme in my art is that I love to sort of awaken people and bring awareness to our soul and our light and our passion. And I'm really excited to share that with you and to meet people and to go out and interview and see other artists and just really engage with my community and my artist community and uh, my fellow cohorts in creation. So it's really awesome talking with you guys. I'm going to sign off for now. If you have any questions or want to get to know me more, please make some comments and I'll put some links and stuff, and uh, I should, I plan on broad broadcasting in probably two days and give you uh, another little snippet about me, or maybe we can get together and do a little chit chat. So stay tuned and enjoy all of the wonderful programming here on the Talk of San Diego Network. And thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful Sunday, and I love you all.